Hello everyone, I'm Patrick. I'm Paul. And we're here today in Lapu-Lapu City, particularly in Opon, to teacher different or three types of foods. Yes, so without further ado, let's go! Here in Lumpia de Senyang, they're well known for their special lumpia and their spicy sauce. So, what are we waiting for? Let's dig in! Mm. Delicious! So, if you're in for spicy foods, you should check. <laughs> so, if you're in for spicy foods, you should check out Lumpia de Senya. It's delicious plus affordable. Okay. Oh, Paul, where are we going next? Um, we're going to feature next is the Fonsa Barbecue Restaurant. Ooh, barbecue. It's perfect. I'm gonna hang hungry now. Okay, so, let's go. Guys, the rice we're going to eat here is called Oso or the hanging rice and as what you can see we don't have any spoon or forks so we will use our hands, the traditional Filipino way of eating food so I'll wash my hands first, I'll be back We have received our order so we'll see so First I'm going to make my little like, dip oh. Yum! Yum! Ah! I'm meant to be the this thing. Cool. Okay, start to eat right now. Whoa. Dying rice, I can, I can see him. I can smell it. Smells like fresh rice, like it's still hot. So it's really fresh. It's meat, pork, too. It's bitten on me. So. Really great. The food is very fresh. The barbecue itself is already perfect. And then I can say that the way they season the meat is very perfect and amazing. And it goes amazing enough. So, that. so, Paul, how was your experience eating in Punsa's barbecue resto? So, as what you have noticed, my reaction was almost like someone like speechless back there because the food the people the experience is very wonderful and overall it is 10 out of 10 so it was worth it so there there you have it so as of now we already featured two famous foods here in Lapu Lapu City the Lumpia Nisen, Nisen Yang and, and the Ponsas Barbecue Resto. Resto so our next destination is located in Basak, Lapu Lapu City and we're going to feature the Tirico Shomai Oh Karen, it's kinda hot in here Yes, I agree with you Oh look, there's a tao! 
Oh, let's try it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks. So we're here staying in a big mushroom. Yes. So, yeah. so hot. Yeah. We have here now. Uh, famous street beauty yeah. in the in Here's one. It really refreshes your, you know, your, your body and something. Oh, no. Feature today is Tara Balut. Yay! So decided that to eat this balut in in my room since it's getting dark and it's about to rain yeah it's about to rain so here we are guys um, it's 6 p.m. yeah so and we're here at my room to, to eat the last food that we're going to feature which is the balut so here we go So there you have it. The balut is ready for us to for us to eat it. But before we eat the balut, we have some food facts. So yeah. this is based on Wikipedia. So number one, balut is a developing bird embryo that is boiled and eaten from the shell, and it is originated and commonly sold in the street food here in the Philippines. And the Tagalog and Malay word of balut means wrap. And the lack of incubation before the egg is cooked is a matter of local preferences but it generally ranges from 14 to 21 days. So there you have it. So here we, here we go. We're going to put some spice vinegar then salt in the egg. Yes, so like what we have said, it is our first time and yeah, it really is. Yes, and we're doing this for you guys and for the sake of our grades, so please ma'am. <laughs> okay, go. Let's go, Barry. Cheers. Bottoms up. So here we go, we finished our balut. Now yeah. we're going to give our feedbacks. So what I expected from the balut is that it would it would taste gross and it won't taste that good but once I've eaten it it was delicious and it's just like a and the regular egg but the difference is that it's there's more juice on the inside and it's more gooey and yeah it's more soft and you can you can feel the 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 organs of the duck in your in your mouth as long with the hair and with its bones yeah and how about you Paul? so for me um, eating <coughs> this egg or what we call the balut um, it's one of a kind it's extraordinary and the flavor is just like an ordinary egg but as what Tarek said um, you can feel the baby chick as you eat the egg so <coughs> but Still Overall, really it's not it's not that gross. It it tastes good, actually. But it depends if how you eat it. Yeah. If you look into the egg and see like what. So that's it. That's all the food that we had featured here in our stay in Lapu Lapu City. So for more food trips, check out our channel. Please like, 
share this video with your friends and subscribe. So, see you next time in our next food trip.